Okay, really quick one here today. I wanted to just introduce this idea that Cursor's UI uh, has changed from coding agents to coding teams. Um, and so I wanted to show this to you. Um, I've been playing with agent building for a while now, um, particularly like experimenting with the um, trading agents. And the last agents that I created, I was playing with this idea of kind of a split swarm where I had um, a part of the team that was basically collecting market data um, from a number of different places and then trying to do sentiment analysis and detect um, detect information that might tell you you'd want to trade in this token. Um, and that half of it, I think, is pretty interesting and actually doing some kind of neat things that are replicable. And I see a lot of people experimenting with trading agents, but not having that piece. So I figured if I could pull it out and, and make it useful to people, it'd be great. But when I built it the first time, I did it really, you know, just as kind of uh, very rough around the edges agents that were out there pulling data and analyzing it and pushing something out that was roughly information. Um, but I didn't do any kind of like back testing to see what sources of information were giving high quality signals, um, trying to sort through that. It was just kind of like, get it all in, sentiment is sentiment, sentiment is sentiment and uh, whatever. And so here I wanted to actually just create a system that would, you could wire up a bunch of different data sources. It would start collecting uh, trading signals and then back test them. And I wanted back testing over an hour, 24 hours, seven days, et cetera. So I could figure out who says what, when, and when is it meaningful? Um, and then trade uh, from that. Okay, that's all the setup for this project, um, which I hope to push soon for people to take a look at. So over the weekend, I pulled up Cursor to take that rough stuff I'd been doing before, give it to an agent, say, learn from this and build the thing I really want. Um, and I noticed that the Cursor UI changed in a very, very cool way because I've been kind of experimenting with this setup, but there were some rough pieces around the edges. So what do I want to do? And how does Cursor solve it? When I come in to start writing my code, the first thing I do is I have my Cursor rules and Cursor rules are telling the agent, always do your planning in the agent folder and create your development plan, break it out into phases, all that stuff happens every time now. Um, but what I want to do uh, is I want to create an agent instance, so one set of context, and I want that to be the planner and the manager of this. And so I've been doing that with this little history button, keeping multiple chats at the same time. It adds a bit of friction. Two, two places where it adds friction. One is just the UI was annoying. You couldn't quite remember what was what. Um, and then two, um, you couldn't flip between them while things were going on. If you flipped, it actually would kill an ongoing session with the one that you flipped out of. But now, cursor added tabs. Really clearly, they want you to use uh, agent teams, which is super exciting. So what do tabs do? Well, I open up the first tab when I start this, and I tell it what my end goals are. I give it all the context. I tell it to explore the existing code I'm referencing, all of that stuff, and I have it write the plan. A couple hints here. When I have it write the plan, I tell it, um, write the plan as a series of phases, and I'm going to hand off each of those phases to a different independent contractor. And that contractor won't know the context of the whole project. So include all the nuance and information you can here. Be prescriptive about tools and libraries that we should be using. Um, hit number, and that's really nice because if then I have a developer agent and I wipe the context or I need to shift it or anything like that, it, it makes it a little bit cleaner. The other thing I do do is I tell it um, the developer agent is blind or won't be able to see. And this is really cool because it basically tells it to plan this in a way that isn't gonna depend on like debugging in the browser. Um, and something cool happened in this case uh, by telling it to do that. So this is, this is chat number one. And I keep this context as the planner and manager. And what I don't do is tell it to go code. Because if you've ever noticed with the vibe coding, if it goes down a rabbit hole or builds up context of stuff you don't really want it to, it can kind of throw off the whole session and it, it'd be hard to, can be hard to abort. Sometimes you just throw away a context and start over um, because it's easier. So I keep this one really clean. I try to keep just the high level in the context of this session. 
And then what I do is I open up another tab or tabs for developer agents. And these ones I tell to go tackle phase by phase. Um, this is super cool because not only can I be doing it with, with one developer, I can actually do multiple developers at the same time. And I keep that context clean. So this one is now, you know, maybe just focused on, uh, this one is just focused on phase one or phase eight or whatever it is. And when it says it's done, what I do is I go back here to my, my planner and I say, hey, uh, my developer tells me they're done with phase one. Can you check their work? Sure. Goes through all of it and says, here are the good things. Here are the few bad things. Here's a couple things for improvement. Copy that. Go back to my developer uh, agent, paste it, and make some improvements. And then I say, great. And I move on to phase two in this context, or I can spin up a new context if it makes sense. But I mean, now we're talking with managing multiple agents with their own objectives, goals, con all set up by your context, which you don't pollute. Um, super exciting and efficient. So let's take a look at what it built. Um, it built this system here where I have it off collecting a bunch of data. Um, it gets the most, it gets a lot from Twitter just because it's the fastest set of updates. All these people mentioning different uh, tokens. And then once somebody's mentioning a token, it uh, starts grabbing the market data for that token so that I can start building up my back tests for these. You know, so you can start looking at uh, what was after 24 hours, what was the price movement 24 hours after the mention of this token from this particular source. And it pulls together all these different sources, Twitter and other places. Um, tracks it by the author, the mention, and tracks these different time horizons. So then I can look at what is the predictive value of each source um, going forward. And this is really cool. I can try to get this to a good place where I can push a repo, and then it's all set up by environmental variables. So all you do is uh, run your, you, you pick what sources you wanna do. You could create new modules for new sources. You run a little cron to go get that information set up your API keys, uh, and then it runs. And then you can pull up this dashboard, which has a ton of information that you can, um, yeah, then you can go and, and start trying to figure out if there's anything cool out there that you can put a finger on. Now building a trading agent, at least for toys and experience, I don't, I don't know if they'd be profitable, but really cool information to play with here. Um, all built by my new, um, my new coding army in Cursor. Uh, but hope some of you check out this new multi-tab system with independent context and crazy, crazy that I can build all of that without, actually, I, I never looked at the code. Oh, I meant, I meant to mention the thing that was cool by telling it it can't use the browser or that this agent won't be able to see anything. Uh, it decided to use Streamlit to develop the dashboard, basically choosing to tell the developers to use Streamlit because uh, Streamlit is very configurable in just code and it's just building blocks that are put in place and there wouldn't be, you know, all the front end debugging to have to do. Pretty, pretty uh, amazing. So anyway, enjoy.